Hi and welcome or welcome back. I hope all of y'all are doing well. A huge hello to all of my newest subscribers. Thank you for joining us. My name is Sage and I create vintage inspired digital kits for your junk journals and I use my YouTube channel here to showcase those kits but also just to give you some fun ideas along the way in hopes to inspire you to create your own masterpieces. If you're looking for vintage printables for your projects, be sure to check out my Etsy store, Vibe of Vintage. And I really hope you take away some inspiration from my channel and implement the ideas into your projects. If you do, feel free to share them with me on Instagram. Before we get started, I want to say that Halloween is coming. And if you don't already know, I have another Etsy store that has all of the fun, spooky, gothic and Halloween related stuff on. So if you have a darker flair to you, be sure to check out my Lady Black Blood store as well. Both my stores and my socials will be linked in the description box. Today we are going to be creating a specimen themed journal from catalog envelopes and if you haven't noticed I am a little obsessed with the specimen theme. I really do love bugs both in real life and in my projects and although this is a specimen related project just keep in mind that it doesn't have to be if you don't want it to. You most certainly can create any theme of your choice. I will not be speaking all through the video but if there are some details that I need to share with you or if I have to walk you through some steps I'll be sure to jump in. Also all of the supplies that I'm using will be linked in the description box as well. I hope you all enjoy.
So I'm using this test tube and I think I got it from one of those wooden stands that's for propagating plants. And all I've done was add some tiny specimen labels on it and I'm going to add something inside of it. But before I do that, I wanted to tint the tube. So I'm just adding a couple of drops of isopropyl alcohol into the tube along with a couple of drops of my alcohol inks and using my heat gun to dry it. And the reason I'm using alcohol was to dilute the inks because I didn't want the staining to be too dark. But in the end, I didn't really achieve the light tint that I was hoping for, but I still really love the end result.
So I've gone ahead and added some glue tack to the back of the test tube and that's how I'm attaching it to my cover. I want this to be removable for when I collage or write in my journal. At some point during creating the cover, I realized that there was no way that I could complete this entire project in one sitting and that's when I decided to make this into two parts. So if you're looking for both of those videos, they will be listed under the new playlist named Watch, Learn and Create. And speaking of playlists, please consider checking out the other playlists on my channel as well. I have a very talented design team who create wonderful makes and deserve some support too. I also do collaborations with other YouTubers that maybe you don't know of yet, so please feel free to browse through and uh, support the other ladies as well. Honestly, I'm so glad that I thought this project through and didn't just glue down that test tube permanently because now as you can see, I needed to stamp right on that piece of scrap that I've added there and I could just pull that tube right off and stamp. And really, once it's back on, you can't even tell that it was just stuck on there with some glue tack. Also, I think it's important that I bring this up. When I initially started creating, I thought I would have to cut up some craft stock and back my envelopes for a little bit of reinforcement. 
But really the Tim Holtz craft stock is so thick and sturdy that I didn't have to do that. So if you're planning on recreating this project, just make sure that you use some type of heavyweight paper to add to the front cover, either as scattered scrap pieces like I've done, or print the tag off on craft stock or just start off with a really nice sturdy base to begin with. And that brings us to the end of part one. I hope you lasted through the video and enjoyed watching me create. Also really quickly, I just wanted to say a big thank you to Sally Ashton for her lovely comments and reminding me that I should probably do more tutorials. It was right after her comment that I decided to make this video and so thank you so much Sally, I appreciate you. And that's all from me, I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay crafty!